Think all diabetic wounds heal the same way? The truth is, without advanced treatment like skin substitutes, many ulcers never heal, and the consequences can be devastating. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, and I'm a podiatrist in Houston, Texas. Every week in my practice, I see diabetic patients who've been told their foot ulcers just need more time to heal, when what they really need is a different approach entirely. In today's video, I'm gonna reveal what skin, skin substitutes are, why they're so effective for diabetic foot ulcers, and how to know if they might be the solution you've been looking for. Before we dive in, I wanna make sure you have all the resources you need to protect your feet. I wrote a comprehensive book about diabetic foot ulcers that goes even deeper with what we'll cover today. You can get this book completely free at www.footulcerbook.com. I'll remind you about this again at the end of the video, but I wanted to mention it now because the information inside could literally save your feet. When a diabetic foot ulcer doesn't heal with standard care, the consequences can be life-changing. Many patients come to me after months of frustration having tried everything their previous doctors recommended without success. What they don't realize is the standard wound care alone is not always enough for diabetic foot ulcers. Diabetic foot ulcers are different from other wounds. They're affected by poor circulation, nerve damage, and a compromised immune function. A triple threat that makes healing incredibly difficult. This is why conventional treatments often fall, fall short and why advanced options like skin substitutes can be game changers. If you're finding this information helpful so far, please take a moment to hit the like button. This helps others with diabetic foot concerns find this crucial information. So what exactly are skin substitutes? They're bioengineered products designed to mimic or support your skin's natural healing process. Think of them as temporary scaffolding that gives your body the structure and biological signals it needs to rebuild healthy tissue. Unlike standard dressings that simply cover a wound, Skin substitutes actively participate in the healing process. There are several different types of skin substitutes available today. Some are derived from human tissue, others from animal sources, and some are completely synthetic. Each type has specific advantages depending on the characteristics of your wound. Cellular and tissue-based products contain living cells that help stimulate your body's natural healing processes. These products can deliver growth factor and other bioactive molecules directly to the wound bed essentially jumpstarting the healing process that stalled in diabetic foot ulcers. Allografts are derived from human donors and processed to remove cells while preserving important structural elements and growth factors. These provide an excellent scaffold for your own cells to migrate into and rebuild tissue. Xenografts come from animal sources, most commonly pigs, whose skin structure is remarkably similar to human skin. These are processed to remove components that can cause rejection while maintaining the structural elements that support healing. Synthetic options combine man-made materials with biological components to create products that can be tailored to specific wound characteristics. The advantage here is consistency and availability as they don't rely on donor tissue. Now, when are skin substitutes typically used? They're not first line treatment. Standard wound care, including regular debridement, appropriate dressings, infection control, and offloading pressure from the wound is always the starting point. Skin substitutes come into play when these conventional approaches aren't producing results after about four weeks. The timing is crucial. Research shows that if a diabetic ulcer hasn't reduced in size by at least 50% after four weeks of standard care, the chances of it healing with conventional treatments alone drop significantly. This is the critical window when considering advanced options like skin substitutes. If you know someone with diabetes who's struggling with a foot wound, please share this video with them. This information could make the difference between healing and serious complications. The application process for skin substitutes is straightforward, but requires precision. First, the wound is thoroughly cleaned and debrided to remove any dead tissue. This creates a fresh wound bed that's ready to receive the skin substitute. The product is then carefully sized and placed directly on the wound, where it's secured with appropriate dressings. What makes skin substitutes so effective for diabetic wounds? They work through multiple mechanisms simultaneously. First, they provide physical protection for the wound, 
creating an optimal healing environment. Second, they deliver biological signals that recruit your body's own healing cells to the area. Third, they provide structural support for new tissue formation. But perhaps most importantly, they help overcome these biological roadblocks that diabetes creates in the healing process. They can compensate for impaired growth factor production, poor cell migration, and inadequate blood vessel formation, all common problems in diabetic wounds. The results can be remarkable. Studies show that diabetic foot ulcers treated with skin substitutes are significantly more likely to heal completely compared to those treated with standard care alone. The healing time is often shorter as well, which is crucial for preventing complications. Now, I want to be transparent about the limitations and considerations with skin substitutes. They're not magic bullets, and they don't work for every patient on every wound. Success still depends on addressing the underlying factors that cause the ulcer in the first place. Good glucose control remains essential. If your blood sugar levels are consistently high, even the most advanced wound care technologies will struggle to overcome the biological challenges this creates. Working with your primary care physician or endocrinologist to optimize your diabetes management is a critical part of this treatment plan. Adequate blood flow to the wound area is also necessary. If circulation is severely compromised, skin substitutes may not receive enough oxygen and nutrients to function properly. In these cases, vascular assessment and possibly interventions to improve blood flow may be needed before skin substitutes can be effective. Offloading pressure from the wound is another non-negotiable factor. If you continue to put weight on an ulcer, no treatment, including skin substitutes, will be successful. This typically involves specialized footwear, braces, or in some cases, complete non-weight bearing with crutches or a knee scooter. If you're finding this information valuable, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos every week with crucial information about foot health, especially for people with diabetes. From a practical standpoint, insurance coverage is an important consideration. As of this recording, Medicare does cover approved skin substitutes for diabetic foot ulcers, but they typically have specific criteria that must be met. This usually includes documentation that standard care has been tried without adequate progress and that other factors like infection and circulation have been addressed. Unfortunately, most private insurance companies and some Medicare Advantage plans do not cover skin substitutes. The application process itself is typically done in the office and is completely painless. Depending on specific products and your wound characteristics, applications are repeated weekly or until healing is complete. Each application builds on the progress of the previous one, gradually filling in the wound with healthy new tissue. What kind of results can you expect? Well, while individual responses vary, many patients see noticeable improvements within the first few applications. The wound typically begins to decrease in size and the tissue quality improves, becoming pinker and healthier looking. Complete healing occurs within six to 12 weeks, though larger or more complex wounds may take longer. One of the most significant advantages of skin substitutes is their ability to promote high quality healing. Diabetic wounds often heal with fragile, poor quality tissue that's prone to breaking down again. Skin substitutes tend to produce stronger, more resilient tissue that's less likely to reulcerate. This is particularly important because recurrence is a major concern with diabetic foot ulcers. Studies show that without appropriate intervention, up to 40% of healed diabetic foot ulcers will recur within one year. Skin substitutes appear to reduce this recurrence rate by promoting more durable healing. Of course, long-term prevention strategies remain essential even after successful healing. These include appropriate diabetic footwear, regular foot checks, prompt attention to new areas of concern, and continued management of your diabetes. Who might not be a good candidate for skin substitutes? If you have an active infection in the wound, this needs to be controlled before skin substitutes can be applied. Similarly, if you're unable to comply with offloading requirements or attend regular follow-up appointments, other treatment approaches might be more appropriate. Smokers also tend to have poorer outcomes with all wound healing treatments, including skin substitutes. The chemicals in tobacco severely impair circulation and tissue oxygenation, making it difficult for any wound to heal properly. If you smoke, quitting even temporarily during wound treatment can significantly improve your chances of successful healing. 
If you're dealing with a diabetic foot ulcer that isn't healing as quickly as it should, don't wait to get it evaluated. The longer a wound remains open, the higher the risk of infection and other complications. A comprehensive assessment can determine whether skin substitutes might be appropriate for your situation. Remember, diabetic foot ulcers are serious medical conditions that require proper professional care. Self-treatment or delays in seeking appropriate care can lead to devastating consequences, including amputation. With today's advanced treatment options like skin substitutes, most diabetic foot ulcers can heal successfully when addressed promptly and comprehensively. Don't forget to get your free copy of my book about diabetic foot ulcers at www.footulcerbook.com. It contains detailed information about everything we've discussed today, plus specific prevention strategies I use with my patients. The link is also in the description below. If you or someone you love is struggling with a diabetic foot ulcer, schedule an appointment for a proper evaluation. The link to do so is in the description below. Early intervention with the right treatment approach can make all the difference in your outcome. Please take a moment to like this video and share it on social media. Your simple share can help someone avoid a serious complication or even an amputation. Also, leave a comment below if you have questions about skin substitutes or diabetic foot care. I do my best to respond. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.